we can like for example also we can use like for mounting updating and mounting we can do with the help of fuse effect so these are a few examples we can okay uh what, what is, is the difference between in use callback and use memo hook so the difference is the uh, value return value so it returns use memo returns memoize value whereas use callback returns memoize function so that is the main difference okay uh, what, what is, is the event binding in react so event binding it is used to perform like it is used for informing the browser that whenever the event, event is triggered then the function should be called so that is the main function of event binding okay uh Do you, do you know, know about, about like uh, uh, React, React class components? components? Yes, I do. Like I have an idea. Okay, so, so do you, you know, know like, like how, how many life cycle methods, methods are used in like React mm-hmm. class components? Yes. Uh, so uh, there um, for mounting phase component did mount, for updating phase component did update, and for unmounting phase component will unmount. Okay. Uh, like uh, what, what is, is the difference between, between control and uncontrol component so uh, in control component the form data it is handled by the state within the component whereas the form data in uncontrol component it is handled by the dom in the component okay and uh, like what, what is, is the purpose, purpose of render, render in react so render method it helps us to redirecting towards a page so that is the main function like so it is used when we want to create a new component okay and what, what is the forward ref so forward ref it is a function it is used to pass the ref to the child tree okay and what, what is the fragment in react fragment it is used to list it is used to group a list of children and it returns multiple elements so it is the main use of the fragment okay and what, what is, is the keys in react so key is nothing but a unique identifier it helps us to like uh, check whether which items have been deleted updated so inserted so yeah this is the use of the key okay and, and what, what is the use navigate in react router so use navigate to it helps us to when we want to change the location it helps us to change it so that is the main purpose of use navigate okay uh, what, what is, is the difference between routers and routes so router it is used to make it is used for making the connection between the react application and the browser location so that is the use of the react or uh, router component whereas a uh, route so the link component it is used to create links to different routes and implement the navigation so route is used to completely like uh, so the link component it is used to create links to different routes okay uh, what, what is, is the use param in react router so use parameter is used for accessing the parameters of a url so that is the main purpose of use param okay 
and uh, what, what are, are the components, components of Redux? So the components of Redux, it includes action, store and the reducer. Okay. Uh, what, what is the reducer? reducer? So reducer, uh, like reducer, they are the J, it is the JS function. It takes the previous state and an action and it will return the updated state. Okay. Uh, what, what are the HTML5 tags? So the basic HTML5 tags, uh, it includes like paragraph tag, heading tag, title tag, body tag. So these are the few common HTML5 tags. Okay. Uh, what, what is the difference between section and new tag? So section tag, uh, it is used to convey some meaning, some type of meaning that it appears that it will be appearing in the web page. Whereas it in uh, for the div tag, it doesn't appear as a particular meaning, but it is a kind of a part of web page, but doesn't appear any meaning for the div. Okay. Uh, what, what are, are the different, different new form element types in HTML5? So there are a few new form elements such as number, URL, time, color, keygen, data list, search. So yeah, these are the few which I can think of. Progress. Okay. What, what are the like, like empty, empty tags in HTML? So the empty tags, it doesn't have the closing uh, tags. For example, like break. We are an image, IMG. These two tags, uh, it doesn't have. This, uh, these two are the examples of the. Okay. Uh, what, what are the attributes, attributes in HTML? So the attributes, uh, it is used to provide extra information. So for example, ID, class, type. Mm -hmm. so what, what is, is the difference, difference between, between a class and an ID? So uh, ID, it is used by one HTML element within the page whereas uh, like class name it can be used by multiple html elements so this is the main difference okay uh, what, what is the difference between inline inline, inline block and block uh, like, like css okay, okay wait, like, like what, what is the difference between, between padding and margin so for block uh, you can set width and height values uh, like the element will start on the new line and it will occupy the full width whereas for inline block uh, like it, it's just uh, like it doesn't start on a new line but you can set width and height values and for inline uh, you can't set width or height so this is the main difference which I can think of okay uh, what, what are, are the different, different way to hide element, element using, using CSS, CSS? we can hide with the help of display none and the visibility header okay what, what are, are the different font attributes available in css uh, so font uh, attributes uh, like of uh, line height uh, like font style font size line height font weight font variant these are the few attributes which i can think of okay so like, like do you know about black, black box css is black box yes Okay, what, what are the uh, properties of Flexbox? So the Flexbox, it, it is used to design flexible response, uh, responsive layout structure. So, and the properties, uh, Flexbox properties, uh, it includes uh, like flex flow, flex direction, uh, align items, align content, uh, flex direction. So these are the few uh, properties of Flexbox. Okay. Uh, 